seasonal greetings and accounting to the people. It is a great joy that I address you today, on the day of Christmas, through this medium for the last time. On behalf of the Executive Council and the entire SRC leadership, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. As we celebrate, we should remember to take good care of ourselves. Let's do well to stay away from all activities that will expose us to danger in any form. We should not trade our future for just a week's celebration. Our families and the country Ghana need us. Permit me to take you back to 2019 in our noble college, a year I will never forget in my leadership journey right from class one. That year, when myself and some other well-meaning students took the decision to contest for positions, not just to earn the name of leadership, but with a mentality of servitude, driven by commitment, dedication, selflessness, humility, and making the interests of the people our focal point without fear or whatsoever. On that fateful day, Saturday, 29 June 2019, the day we were elected through the ballot to steer the affairs of the SRC. Whether we have really served you or not, I will leave that to posterity to decide. Immediately we were inducted into office. Together with my hard-working executives, we drew the roadmap. We came out with brilliant ideas in consultation with our hard-working Dean of Student Affairs, Mr. Abutoro Samu, which was graced by the new principal, Dr. Benedicta Ausi Atiku, the lady principal who has refused to rest until we build the college we desire. Through your support, prayers, and cooperation, we have been able to raise the bar of the SRC and build some legacy that is worth emulating by future leaders as far as DASI SRC is concerned and maybe elsewhere. From history and my personal experience for a number of years, I have, been, I have stayed in Dambai Township, student of the college where the official laborers. We do all kinds of works from weeding, sweeping the entire campus before going for lectures, scrubbing all the KVIPs, sweeping of offices, and the most dangerous of it is the day beans will be prepared by the kitchen. The seniors then always tell us, here, we don't eat beans and sleep. On such day, when there are no works, the seniors will find work for you to do, irrespective of you having lectures or not. A senior is always right, as they used to say. After taking over, we decided to change the narrative through consultative stakeholders' engagement. We decided to channel part of the SRC dues, which is the students' money, into employing laborers and purchasing mowers to end this practice. Though this arrangement didn't go well with some people who think that what we went through as a badge, any other badge should go through same. Together with my executives, we stood our grounds as generational thinkers and ended the practice. And I want to thank our principal for her firm decision in making sure this happened. In our quest to give our constituents a wider range of knowledge acquisition, we embarked on the DASI SRC Wi-Fi project. Though the project suffered some setbacks, we were able to complete it successfully and run pilot testing. I humbly beseech all of you to make good use of the facility to broaden your academic horizon. We will be engaging the new leadership on the path to extend the Wi-Fi to other parts of the campus that were not captured. Moving away from the traditional dining system, where students are crowded around a table, before food is served is another thing I must applaud the college management led by the principal and her able vice. With this new system as advocated for, seek to introduce a dual menu system where students have the chance to choose between two meals during each dining session. The reason behind the system was to enable students to choose the type of food to eat during each dining period. As the saying goes, the beginning of every good thing comes with challenges. The system faced some challenges which were resolved and I am sure the new executive will support management to ensure the smooth running of the system. My people, with your interest at heart and ensuring that you were given the possible comfort, we supported and advocated for the call to have an e-library. After engagement and consultation, the college triggered the process to institute the e-library in the college and within the shortest period, the project was completed. 
today, you can go to the library and access reading materials from the Library of the University of Developmental Studies, UDS, the college we are affiliated to. We encourage you to make good use of the facility for its purpose. My people, I must say this. Before we took over, the SRC had nothing like a comprehensive working document. This became a worry for us and the principal because leaders were ruling based on their dictates without any stipulated direction, guidance, and no working system in place. With our quest to get a comprehensive working document for the council, we set aside 30 working days in putting up a working document which directs and, and guides the leadership. I can't thank the principal enough for her commitment during this work. She contacted some tutors led by the vice principal to help us give final touches to the work done. It did not end there. She even used her own resource to motivate us for the work done. I can't forget to thank Mr. Kwegla Michael, former TAG voter president, 2019-2020 academic year, for his constant reminder for us to draft and promulgate a constitution for the SRC after he realized we had none. With our belief in democratic decision-making process, we decided to bring leadership to the doorsteps of the students. By this, SRC positions were not centered in the hands of a particular year group in the just-ended SRC election. Some key positions were reserved for the junior batch to contest for. This is to make them part of the decision-making process. Though this equality didn't go well with some students, we stood our grounds and remained firm in making sure collective decision-making process is ensured in the student leadership. Over the years and in the history of the SRC, for the first time, students took full responsibility of overseeing the conduct of SRC elections successfully, unlike the past where management was in charge of running SRC election, and the just-ended SRC election under my watch was fully handled by students right from setting out modalities, betting and running of the election was in the hands of students. I must congratulate my fellow students for their cooperation during the process. The first student's electoral commissioner, Mr. Ajay Jonathan Kosi, and his team did a great job and must be remembered in the annals of history. Fellow students, if you ask me to mention one of the projects I'm so proud of, I will mention the SRC Clinic project. After being admitted into the college, we have seen students falling sick at midnight and being rushed to the clinics in town by motorbike riders. In a situation where these motorbike riders are nowhere to be found, friends of the victim would have to carry him or her to the clinic themselves. Sometimes masters will have to wake up from their sleep to carry such student to the clinic. In order to end this, and with the inspiration from our principal, we embark on the project. Today, we are done with all block works and have brought in roofing companies to come and take measures to enable us to start roofing of the building. We have equally sent proposals to individuals, NGOs, government agencies, traditional leaders, and some churches to support us in any form to ensure successful completion of the project. From the day we took over, I led the executives and we promise to protect the pairs of the SRC. I say this without any doubt that we have really done so. My executives made a lot of sacrifice. We have never known anything like sitting allowance during our meetings. We have never taken anything like I can during our caucus meeting. The beautiful thing is that sometimes some executives use their own money to buy water for our dream meetings. That is the level of that is the level of sacrifice my executives have made. Knowing very well the burden on the SRC with our project, this should tell us we were not driven by money into leadership, but the passion to serve. We shall subject ourselves to auditing and ensure the auditor's report is pasted on all notice boards for you to see in the history of the SRC. This is not just to show how disciplined we were, but to set the mark and instill the spirit, the spirit of meticulous accountability in young leaders going into the future. Fellow students, I cannot end it without mentioning the Tag Village project. 
In 2019, we initiated this project in the name and glory of our association, the only mouthpiece we have, the Chachwenese Association of Ghana, with a motto, a model for development, and we proudly have our slogan, we mean work. The project was meant to have five administrative, to have the five administrative sectors of the association represented with five big summer hats built just like the tag logo, and each summer hat is named after a sector. There will be a showroom that will contain the constitution, artifacts and relevant materials from the SRC and the colleges under the tag umbrella. Lava benches well spread on a well-grown green grass and trees and ornamental plants all over. The idea was also to open the place for rental for programs and thus would generate income for the association through the locals. In 2020, during the Congress at Akashi College of Education, we adored the project before Congress and it received recommendation. Unfortunately, the project suffered financial challenges which didn't allow for its implementation. But the good news is, we have secured land from the college for this project. I am by this medium encouraging the incoming administration to continue this project and call on the association to support the locals to ensure the successful start and completion of the project in the memory, in the memory of our association. Fellow students, all this achievement wouldn't have been made if not for your cooperation and prayers. I, I, together with my executives, want to thank you very well for your support and we remain grateful for the opportunity given us to serve you. The journey has helped to build us as young leaders. Through this journey, we have learned to champion the cause of the students' front with our all. I can't forget the love you showed me always. And to the current level 300s, I can't forget the day you stood your grounds without any form of disrespect in demanding respect to the office of the president. I remember that day the badge refused to go to Danny unless the writing was done and you never moved until finality was brought to the issue. I thank all the tutors, the non-teaching staff for your tremendous support during this period. I stand today to officially congratulate the newly elected executive led by Mr. Bunju Meshak, who are taking over soon. I humbly ask that you build on our strengths and make our weaknesses your learning point. Strive hard to pass the level we have reached in building a better community for the students of Dambai College of Education. Long live Ghana, long live Dasi, long live Dasi SRC. Thank you.